Hey, what's up guys? I've got a pretty fucking good match to show you here. So this was my first time uh, playing as a solo in a trio lobbies. I decided to do a night match too. You can choose that now, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I ran with a uppercut and a Caldwell shotgun. I feel like it's a pretty good duo. I'm sure there's better shotguns out there, but I do like how quickly you can reload the Caldwell so it gives me a chance to kind of break away from engagements. Uh, I think uh, you might want to choose the Slate, honestly. I do think the Slate might be a better choice. Of course, Crowning King is fucking awesome, but the thing's expensive and I'm a broke bitch, so Caldwell's a good bang for the buck shotgun in my opinion. You only get two shots, but you know, make them count, pull back, reload, good to go. Start these solo matches with a uh, stamina shot, which you can see. I think being able to book through the beginning is pretty important, even though I set off a sound trap there. Being able to just run past super quick, they're not going to catch up in the <clears throat> now, Right up here, when I catch a dude trying to get the clue, Crouched down, this little fucker. Tried to line up the sh headshot, but he turned his back to me. I just ended up waiting here for a bit. I assumed his teammates were gonna come res at some point. I wanted to try to get a second kill out of him, but we'll see what happens. Vanishing started, so I know they're on a time crunch now. They want to get to the action. Not fuck around with some random team. They don't know I'm a solo. You can see I see one run by there. I'm like, alright, he's running away from his boy. There's a second one. I'm like, alright, they're just ditching the dude. And there's the third. So, I, I don't know. Replay it. I didn't see the dude get rest. You saw where I killed him. I assumed he would still be down there, but... Maybe when I turned to look at the zombie, they rezzed him. It was just in that split second. That's how Hunt is, man. You gotta really be on it. A split second can make the world a difference. But there goes my uh, getting another kill out of him, but don't worry. I checked the after action report and I ended up killing that same dude two more times. We'll see at the end here. Just speed run through the boring shit. I know I'm following them, so I just tried walking through most of this just in case they get caught up on something I don't want them to hear me sprinting behind them and I just get blasted with the shotgun thing about solos you do have to take it a little more patiently than most matches I find when I'm playing with a group kind of get caught up in conversation just book it everywhere solos I, mean, I don't try to just sit in one spot the whole match but I don't just sprint everywhere like I normally do except for at the beginning the beginning you want to get everywhere you need to go as fast as possible I'd rather defend than be the aggressor on as a solo, but they vanished quick. I was on the wrong side of the map to be able to be the defender this time around. Right here, here's that same dude I shot. I see the same skin. him. I didn't see that coming, but someone killed him for me, I guess. Bring a stamina shot from the beginning of the fight, and a regen shot for when the action actually starts. It would be nice if I could aim and actually hit that dynamite right there. problem with the Caldwell right there. You can see he doesn't really have the range. Not using slugs or anything, so hit that dude twice while he was getting hit by a zombie and still didn't kill him. And here's some coughing going up there, so I don't want to just run through that open gate and try to swing around and get the high ground on these fools. Like always, his solo take it slow. I'm getting low on ammo, but I don't want to make too much noise, so I'm just risk it and run past the ammo. Got the dude that was up there, so now it's safe to 
reload my ammo stash. I know somebody around here has necro, so I'm gonna trap the body. Can't see him, but I see that, that smoke from the choke bomb. I know they're in there somewhere. This doesn't always work, but sometimes just following the audio can get you lucky. Not this time around, though. I'm low, so it's best to get as far away from the fight as possible. Especially since I can't see, I can't regen health. Just get away from it, heal up, and re-engage the fight later. So 1v3, I'm in no rush. Dude, I've already killed twice now. I see two players, but you see, I, I tracked the other guy for a second, but I pulled away, shot the same dude I've been killing. I know he's low on health. Even though I'm getting shot up by the other guy, he needs to be my main focus. I need to get it down to a 2v1. He's dead now, so I'm finally in that 2v1. I have a bad habit of just shooting whatever move goes. Finally, a good time of actually, <laughs> actually shooting the person that needs to be shot. <sighs> and here I'm swinging around, just wait. Dude, he's trying to get me with the bow. So here, I kind of assumed he rezzed his boy and I was in a 1v2. Can hear him swinging around the right. Thought he was going to walk upstairs. Hear him right below me. It's lucky timing. He was trying to get a consumable to throw at me so he could rez. Now, if he had honestly just rezzed, that might have gone differently, but I had the high ground with a shotgun and a 1v1. That was it. Easy dub. I'm not gonna waste too much time, just get to the exit just in case. I'm sure there was more bodies to loot, but I'm not gonna fuck around with it. Just end the match and get out of here. There you go, man. My first time, honestly, honest to God, this was my first time playing as a solo. I did a trio match and it paid off. I was able to get to prestige because of this. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later.